What's up you guys, it's Alan Neil here, and today I'm going to show you guys a new room page that some people are actually using right now. And it's actually quite busted uh, against tougher matchups like if you're up against a Malzahar or a Ryze or someone who's going to poke a lot. Matchups where you start Doran Shield, Vladimir for example, this is actually insane. This is actually a bit maybe too insane to the point where it might actually get nerfed. So what we do is... We go the standard route, like we always used to. Electrocute, Southern Impact, Eyeball Collection, and Ravenous Hunter. That's the best domination uh, runes for Cat. Now, we go here. We go for a Resolve. We pick Mirror Shell, which will give us free 6 magic resistance and heal effect from consumables. Heal you for at least 20 health and shield increase your MR by 5%. So, your health pots will help you more in lane. They sustain you for more. Right, and any shields will increase your MR by by extra, by 5%. Right, and then you go second win. After taking damage from enemy champion, you heal yourself for 4% of your missing health. That That is just completely busted with Doran Shield. If you start Doran Shield and you go second win, and you go Mirror Shell, which will also furthermore help you sustain the lane, you cannot die in lane. Most of the time, you get poked down, Doran Shield's healing me. Second win is healing me based on my missing health. It's insane. It is out of control. Like, this room page is so good against hard matchups. And it really keeps you alive in land. Now, let's say I'm against Zed. The 6 MR is useless. Go Iron Skin. You gain 5 MR, and it does the exact same thing as this does. Except here, it heals you for 20 health, but it will. Shields increase your armor. So if Janna shields you, you get extra armor. But. Anyway, that's not the point of this. You want this because of the consumable healing effect being increased and you get free 5 armor just like that in lane. It's amazing. It is literally the best way to not die in lane. It, it sustains you really well and you make sure you start Doran Shield with this. Furthermore, here's the best part, right? Furthermore, let me just... There we go. You get plus 65 health for free! Plus 65 health for free because you chose the resolve path. Plus, oh, we're not done yet. Plus, all right, let me show you here real quick. When we go to item sets, plus 80 health from Doran Shield, which also restores 6 health every 5 seconds when we get damaged. Or rather, it restores 6 health as a regeneration, but if you do get damaged, you, gain, you regain an additional 20 health over 10 seconds after taking damage from an enemy champion, which completely works with second wind, because you have mega sustain in lane. It is insane. You, should, you guys should see it for yourself. The, the amount of sustain that you actually get from that is, is ludicrous. It is just beyond belief. This rune page is actually extremely busted right now. It can also work against match us where you win it could work because what i do now is th the reason we go for this by the way now is because precision as you all know has been nerfed kudura it has been nerfed it barely does any damage now like honestly it would only do damage at the last few seconds when someone's low health because it does damage based on you know it does more damage to champions who have less than 40 percent health so only when they're low right that's why I think Triumph is still the best choice here for Cat. Um, it still is good, but this, not so much, sadly, because of the nerf. So what do we do? Let's say you were in a winning matchup. What we do is we go Absolute Focus and Scorch. These two are amazing if you are trying to play aggressive. Um, absolute Focus, while about 7% health, you gain extra adaptive damage. So adaptive damage, keep in mind, by the way. It selects either AD or AP um, based on what you have higher. So let's say I have 300 AP, but I have 180. It's going to give me extra AP, not AD. So it also is based on level. So let's say I'm level 16, 17, 18. It will, the AP will keep going up and up after every time I level up. And Scorch is really good in lane. If you're, if you're trying to poke down enemy, you hit him with Q, he takes damage from Scorch. Scorch, by the way, would actually do more damage than Coup de Ra by endgame, because Coup de Ra would only come in handy when they're, you know, lower health. So, you could also go water walking, by the way, uh, if you're a roamer. You can choose between these two. Both are actually good. Uh, this also gives you adaptive damage, which can work really well with absolute focus. Uh, team fights at Baron. 
team fights a dragon. If you get this and this, you actually get a lot of damage, a lot of AP. Uh, it's almost like a free blasting wand, really. This gives you 40 AP at level 18. This gives you 30 AP at level 18. So you literally get around 60 AP for free. Almost like a free needlessly large rod. So this is actually not too bad. As you progress in the game, you get more AP. That's why some people go water walking. Because not only does it help with the roaming, but it also helps, generally speaking, with, you know, the, the damage and the move speed. It's all It all comes together. It fits Katarina really well. But if you're not a fan of that, you can just go Scorch. So this is the aggressive route. And of course, the last one is with uh, Precision, where you go Triumph, Coup de Ra, which is something I don't do anymore. I rarely do this now because Coup de Ra nerf. You know, a lot of the time, you will deal more damage with Scorch and Absolute Focus than Coup de Ra. Like, if I, I once checked the end game damage stats uh, compared to Scorch and Coup de Ra, how much is the damage difference? Actually, pretty decent because in lane you're poking a lot, or even team fights you're hitting people with Q and it does damage. By end game, Scorch did more damage than Coup de Ra in my previous game. So keep that in mind. I'm not saying Coup de Ra is bad, I'm saying it's weak at the moment, unless they buff it. I think the idea is good, but the nerf kind of makes it a bit different. I think I feel like there's better runes right now, like in Sorcery and in Resolve. These two really work. So what happens, you know, but basically, a quick summary. You go for this, again, har harder matchups, and then you go Sorcery if you are feeling confident and you can, you know, do well in lane. So you can do that. You can also go Water Walking if you prefer the extra AP and AD uh, by level 18, and you get free move speed when you cross the river. So you try to roam bot lane, you try to roam top, you know, you can choose whatever you want to do with that. Now as for the items, uh, nothing much has changed from the last time I made a Katarina Runes Guide. I'm pretty much going the same thing, um, except Doran Shield is really fantastic now with, as we mentioned, with Iron Skin and Mirror Shell or Iron, um, or the other one, the Armor or the MR one. And Second Wind. Second Wind is also phenomenal with this. So you can go for this against hard matchups. You go for this if you go for Sorcery Path. You could go for Sorcery Path and then Doran Shield up to you, but I feel like with Doran Shield and the Resolve Tree, you just get so much sustain out of it. I feel like it's better to just go Dark Seal when you're going Sorcery because you're going with the damage route and you're going with the aggressive route, so you can do that. Again, we go Gunblade as our core item. What we do is we go Double Long Swords into Hexer Revolver. And then we get a tier 2 boot, so either one of these. We go Merc Treads against a Sejuani Jungle and a top lane Malphite, whatever. They have a lot of CC for me. They have a Leona support. We go Merc Treads. Don't be afraid. Oh, uh, but I really want the Magic Penetration, Al Nino. That's very important. Yes, it's great to have a Magic Penetration, but if you get CC'd and shut down, you can't escape shit. It's not really worth it. I would highly suggest Merc Treads in that, in that scenario. If they have Master Gear Jungle, Yasuo Top. You know, if they have a lot of auto attack based champions, Ninja Tab is also really good uh, in a lot of situations. Because it does block 10% of damage from basic attacks, which can help you survive in lane, for example, against a Yasuo. Once we complete the tier 2 boots, we finish Gunblade. And then from there, we go either Haunting Guys or Zhonya, depending on the matchup, or Void Staff. Now, you only get Void Staff if they're stacking them more. I had one game where people were stacking insane amount of Amar because I had 1.4 million points on Katarina. I shit you not. And I'm going to show you this right now. We did have a game here where Java went early Maw. He has Spear Visage. Vagar has Abyssal Mask. Janna has a Locket. Varus has Wit's End. So clearly they stacked a lot of magic resistance for me, and it was really hard to do anything without a void. So this is what you do when people stack Amar. People stack Amar after you finish Gunblade and your tier 2 boots, you go for a void staff. Because that is the best item against people who stack Amar. So buy situationally, you don't always have to buy a void staff every single game after buying these two items. You go Haunting Guides is the standard way. Flat Magic Penetration is really good on Cat. You want Flat Magic Penetration because it's a good stat for Cat. All she does is magic damage and flat stats mean more early to mid game where they don't have that much MR. So you go for that. After you finish Haunting Guides, you go Zhonya's Hourglass because it is the single best item on Cat. 
If you are in a situation where you're up against a Zed, you can skip Haunting Eyes and go Zhonya immediately. Where you absolutely need Zhonya at the current given time. You would need that. So go for that. So after we finish Haunting Eyes and, and Zhonya, we go for a Voice Staff because at this stage of the game, people are going to start buying Magic Resistance. And if they don't, you could just try to finish Leandri. So we finish Voice Staff. And then we go ahead and buy Leandri's Torment. After Leandri's Torment, we finish off with a Rabadon's Death Cap. A few such special items. Banshee, I never buy this item. I know I have it here as item choices, but I never buy this. I never buy this either. I just have it set there in case one time I decide, oh, hey, I want to destroy the Nexus solo. I'll go Sheen and try to win or something like that. But realistically, that's never going to happen. That's not something I do. Uh, Brian's Crusader is getting buffed uh, later on. So... This might change. There are new items coming in, uh, patch 8.4, and I will be updating this video when those new items come out. But for now, 8.3, this is how you do it. This is how you build path, because there are some really good items uh, coming in for patch 8.4, which will be go more into detail. Hexdrinker, you only buy this item if you really feel threatened in lane. I rarely buy it, uh, but if you get Stella Blank or your you're really pressured in lane. It just sucks. You, you can't really do anything. You want to go hex tricker? Feel free. QSS against Malzahar. I buy this. Uh, do I upgrade it to Merc's Kimitar? Absolutely not. But QSS is solid choice against a Malzahar matchup. Finally, you have all these consumables. And that is pretty much about it. And that is about it for the Katarina runes for patch 8.3. Hopefully it helped you out. These are currently pretty busted runes. The Resolve Tree. Insane. The Sorcery Tree. Much better than Precision now, in my opinion. And yeah, I'll probably be updating this uh, for the next patch. Uh, when the new items start coming in. And there's going to be a lot of changes. So we're going to talk about that and update you guys on that. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all on the Rift. Peace out.